Why, hello there, I'm Doseku, and welcome to Granddad Mario, a kind of interesting Mario fan game that in itself is based off of a, uh, was it Taiwanese knockoff Mario game? Anyway, join me on this adventure as we see just what Mario is up to today, won't you? Alright, so we can look at all the other stuff later on, but for now, we're gonna go in and take a look at a new game. Now, I did kind of already play a little bit of this so I can see what the game was about, so we're just gonna start a new game. I do want to note that the ominous music in the background is a kind of dark rendition of the Flintstones theme. <laughs> Space Gulag, <laughs> alright. Alright, and here we go. Things are starting off pretty well. So our controls are going to be C is going to be our main attack, X is our jump, and shift will allow us to shift between our secondary weapons which we can pick up a little later on. For now though, we gotta progress through this dank forest. Look at this, it's multicolored ninji. Now the red ninjas don't really indicate anything different from their uh, black variant, it's just a different color. We did miss our chance to get that axe though, but don't worry. We'll pick another variant to that up a little later on and you can see just what it does. Well, check it out, health. Oh yeah, I guess I should mention, uh, instead of the sizing system that Mario usually gets, we in fact get hearts that indicate how much health we have left. So at this point it looks like we can take a total of 6 hits before we die. And don't ask why there's a Metal here, he probably belongs to the Bads, which are the invading alien force, which Granddad was a part of oddly enough. Now, while the uh, red hearts fill one unit of health, the gold hearts are a complete health refill. And there we go. We picked up an axe, and there it is, and the slingshot is like that. Now, to utilize your sub weapons, it's up and attack. Now, I would have to guess that this monkey boss had to be in the original knockoff game that this was based off of. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of, wh of why he's even there. Ooh. Snack. 
Now here's a fun fact. Metals in this game are not immune to damage if their helmet's all the way down, unlike their Mega Man counterpart. So on the second half of the stage, we get our cool egg weapon there. Oop, come on, there we go. Now, what I recommend is actually saving this weapon for later, because it's a bomb. It does a lot of damage, and when it does go away, it replaces... It gets replaced by whatever was in the other item slot. So in this case, that would have been the slingshot. Frogs are pretty big annoyance. They can jump around all over the place and they take about two hits to get rid of. Now the uh, boomerang, as cool as it looks, does not regenerate your weapon energy and it's actually kind of weak. The upside to it though is that it does damage fairly quickly, but again, just not a whole lot. In fact, you can get more damage out of rapid firing your slingshot than you would if you used the boomerang. I guess the next weapon up from the slingshot would uh, have to be the axe. It throws out an arc so it's not always the most reliable, especially if the enemy is straight ahead of you, but it kind of does its job. Nothing over there. Hey, yeah, so you saw that, right? It took about three to four hits of the boomerang when we could have just used one or two hits of the hammer to get rid of that frog. Not the best use of an item we have, and I would definitely replace it when we get the chance. Alright, this. So that, uh, Ninji and Meteor combo? I never really could figure out a way to safely get through that without taking damage. I tried different variants. This first one here was clearly the least successful because you're going to take damage no matter what off that. So that's something to keep in mind. What you could do, I guess, is approach it from the vines Try to do a jump slash to get rid of the ninja and hope that the mentor didn't fire on you while you were falling. Huh. Ooh, an axe. Nice. Ooh, another axe. Something to keep in mind is that you cannot fill both item slots with the same weapon. So if you pick up a weapon and you already have it, it just adds to your weapon energy. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Eh, uh, let's tussle. So Simba is our first boss. He is kind of hard. You would think axes are the best options against him, but they really aren't. Now, I know you think they would since the game throws axes at you. But due to the fact that Simba moves so much, it 
it, it doesn't help. That being said, you could use your slingshot, which works well, kind of. Doesn't do as much damage as the hammer, though. And the main problem is, well, this you can't really stay close to him because he moves all over the place, normally tracking towards where you are. Eh, maybe it does alright. What was that? Eight hit? Eight per shot? Oh, never mind. It's seven. Interesting. Alright, I got a good feeling about this one. Ah. We can do this, come on. Ah. I wonder what that thing is that he throws at us. He doesn't do it often, but he does it every now and then. Usually after his second jump though, so that's something to be aware of. Thankfully he does, um, what's the word I'm looking for? He does show tells for the attacks he's going to do. And his pattern is fairly simple. It's walk at you twice, jump, and then sometimes throw, I guess, an apple? We can do this. Again, the main thing is... Don't do what I did. I mean, sure you can get close to him, but... For the love of anything, don't stick too close to him for too long. Yeah, yeah. Nice one indeed. Maybe it's a butterfly that he throws. And there we go, our first of many game overs. Now, rather than have you see me game over to this guy about two to three more times, I decided to skip us ahead to the actual successful run. Now, my recommendation for this is bring the egg if you can at all possible. My plan here is once I get him down to about 30 or so percent, I should be able to drop the egg on him and wipe him out. There we go. See how easy this is now? Yep, there we are. Let's do this. Haha! <laughs> You've been dethroned, sucker. Grand! Nice. 
I guess we wouldn't. If anything, it looks like uh, Granddad here was actually a part of the invading alien force, but after a while he just didn't like their policies or their ways and decided to break away from them. It looked like he wanted to live as a hermit for a bit, but now they dragged him back into this adventure and he's going to have to finish it. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. Well, anyway, this seems like a good place to stop for today. So, thanks for watching and join me next time as we adventure into the mountains. I hope to see you there. Bye.